All right, so we're going to try this again. Sexual healing. This is Fast Bloods, Sunny Blunts. We're doing a listening party. Let's see if we can figure this out and get it going. Okay? No interruptions. Let's go. So that was the first song, Sexual Healing. We've actually heard that one before on a sound discovery when it first dropped. Um, I, I still love the rawness, like her vocals, the attitude of the tune as well. It's got a nice uh, flow, a little repetitive, but that's okay. Um, nice and catchy for the uh, first song on the album. Let's jump into Salvation here.
right. Well, that was that was not what I expected. They toned it down just a little bit. I like that the instrumental was still fast, but her vocals were kind of catching a, a different vibe or uh, kind of gave me a little bit of a Cranberries vibe, and then the instrumental was just punk. Um, and weirdly, as much as I bitch about drums, they're kind of popping. They're like this perfect bounce right now with like they sound raw, DIY-ish. The quality is not perfect, but it's like a really nice balance of that. They have it at the perfect level where it's there, it's sounding good, but it's not too overdone. So that that is that is very nice as well. Um, Aaron, welcome, Chuckles. Good to see you guys. Uh, is my back holding up? No, Aaron. Uh, no. I had to do stretches before I got in stream, and just sitting down here um, on this chair is killing my back. It's all done. Fucked up. Yeah. Timmy, what's good, dude? Welcome, welcome, everybody. We're just uh, going through this Sonny Blunts album so far. It's been pretty good. It's a very nice sound. Very, very nice sound. I'm just going to keep going here, though. Gone for Good is the next track. Like this track would be a lot of fun live, especially in a little show, just nice and packed. That one would be a, a blast. Uh, Chuck, I see your, uh, I forgot your to ask you this, but are you going to the punk rock museum while you are in Vegas? I had meant to ask you that the other day when I saw you, but I forgot. Silver, thank you for that hydrate, brother. Pulling teeth.
All right. I'm liking the energy here. Still digging the DIY sound. I will say uh, some of these don't have really anything that just grab me and pull you in, but it's not like bad to listen to. And uh, you're not exactly looking for catchy music when you're going for punk in general, right? Um, I did see a few people say a lot of the song names on here uh, are the same as other songs. You got Pulling Teeth, like Green Day, uh, Sexual Healing, Marvin Gaye. Salvation, actually, the Cranberries, uh, Gone for Good. I don't know one there. Um... Small town. Oh, and rancid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, Peyton. <laughs> Small town. Let's check this one out. There's got to be a country song with this t- name, right? Got to be. Chuck? You can tell us. John Mellencamp. <laughs> Damn, nailed it. That was quick. Interesting intro here. Chuck's got to be going nuts with this intro.
Well, uh, surprisingly here, with that minute-long intro with feedback and random-ass noises, you would think I would hate this. Um, But I kind of dig it, and I definitely respect the placement on this album. I think it's a well-placed track. It's the fifth one out of nine. It splits everything up. Um, It has a little bit of a different sound, a little more chaotic as well. Uh, It's not the scheme of the song uh doesn't really fit the rest that we've heard before it a little more experimental it's a nice swap up through uh this middle part of the album i i could actually see myself putting that on in a in a playlist i'm not gonna lie to you guys that that was nice um the instrumental was very intriguing in this there was lots of ups and downs which made me love it and then her vocals like she she did exactly what I wanted throughout the, the track. And then the screams at the end were just icing on the cake. Nice little, nice little, e- like, just edge of screaming there. Perfect. So while, while that might not make a playlist, um, it's definitely appreciated on the album. I can see myself putting that in a playlist, though. Uh, Panda, no Chuck tonight. Just, just me. Just just me. Chuckles is on vacation. You uh, drove him crazy with the sours, and he is he's running. God, I'm such trash eating cold McMuffin. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wish I could say I've never done that, but sometimes it does hit, dude. Sometimes it does hit. Uh, hold on me. Thank you, Silver.
were a little bit more in the forefront here on this one. They were popping a little bit more. Um, there were a few melodies on there that I was just like, mm, meh. But I did really like, I like when she uh, changes it up with the raw and like um, all borderline like hardcore for like a brief few seconds. Man, that has a nice change up for sure. Tim, that was a wicked burn with the Golden Knights thing. Biddy, thank you so much for the resub. He said, time out that panda guy. <laughs> if Chuckles was still here, he would do that in a heartbeat for you. I appreciate you. Yeah, just talking about the sours. Chuck's like, peace out. I'm gone. I am not getting sucked into this. Rum and soda. <laughs> This whole album so far would be just a nice like house show bop. Panda. You son of a bitch. You didn't have to do that, but I I have I greatly appreciate it. Shout out to Panda for the 10 gifted subs. Would you like me to do a sour? A blue or an assorted? Or would you like me to do a two beans of the bean boozles? I will get to those here after these two songs because I am currently recording this for a re-upload to YouTube for those who missed it. Random Sour, you got it. You got it. Eyes Wide Shut, Sunny Blunts. We're going to run these back to back, okay? These are the last two songs. I'm going to pop this sour in. We're going to jam these tunes. I'm going to give a review at the end of this. Um, guys, let me know what your guys' honest opinions are of this album so far, if you guys would. Eyes shut. <laughs>
Okay, I said I was going to play them back to back, but goddamn, I like that they saved some of these heavier the heavier tracks for the end here. Um, that was that was really good. The eyes wide shut theme uh, was hitting pretty hard with that sour. Shout out again to Panda Bear Productions for the hype train. Venus, what's good? It was a lovely scream. Exactly. Exactly. Last song of the album, guys. Let me know what you think of the tr- of this whole th- the whole thing. Sunny Blunts, guys. Sunny Blunts. Those things go together very well. of the Sunny Blunts album, y'all. What did you do? What were your opinions? Um, for me, I really like this. This reminded me of, like, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, almost like a more punk rock cranberries, especially with the touch of screams. Maybe even a little bit of, like a little dash of, uh, you know, melodic. Nah, I wouldn't even put it hardcore, but you know what I mean. The screaming was nice. It was a nice uh, change up. Uh, this is their first album, I believe, which for first album, this is solid. Uh, I, I would think this would go really hard at a, ho- uh, a house show for sure. I like the rawness, but it wasn't too raw. 
like even the feedback, uh, some of the feedback and stuff on the track uh, on the album, either one, I'm getting used to it or two, they did a really good job of putting like the sounds where they need to be like bounce wise. So I really like that because I will like the rawness, but I just don't want it too, too, too raw. You know what I mean? So it's got to have that production balance. I think this has that. Uh, the drums, while the drum quality wasn't great, the drums sounded fantastic and added to the rawness while, uh, like, having the perfect... It was in the perfect area of the the rest of the music. So it was really nice there. Um, so there was a lot of things in this album that I normally would be really bothered by. And they just put it in the perfect placement and I really like it. I would love to see this band do some Cranberry covers, ba- Payton. Um, yeah, th- there's been, I think it was during Gone for Good, or maybe it was Salvation, one of those two. I had mentioned it about the uh, Cranberries. And I would love, 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 love to hear this band do some Cranberry covers with a little bit more of this par- punk rock uh, with, with the sc- Edge with Screams. Like, this is fantastic. Um, I think for the rating for this whole album, I would go with a 6-2. Definitely not the best thing I've ever heard, but for a first album, this is very solid. Uh, I really don't have any complaints. Don't really have too many complaints. And that is that is all, guys. That is all for the, for this first album. Yeah. 